As soon as I signed up for this Primerica uh, position, job, you know, entrepreneurship, whatever you want to call it, business owning opportunity, whatever they want to call it, uh, as soon as I signed up and I put my name down, signed the paperwork, put in the application, and uh, the key point is when the payment went through, their attitude or the attitude of the individual that recruited me changed basically from that second that I that that payment went through a relief went through his demeanor a noticeable relief and then his attitude changed now he's acting like he owns me pretty much he's telling me what I should be doing when before the payment went through he was saying I'm not going to call you, I'm not going to tell you when to be here, what to do, and, uh, you know, you're going to be independent on your own, and uh, I'm here just to help you whenever you need the help. That's how he put it before the payment. After the payment, he uh, plainly said to make sure I make all the meetings. I expect you to be at all the meetings. I expect you to be in the trainings. I expect you to do this. I expect you to do that. And, uh, you know, he asked me whether I'm trainable or not, coachable or not. And basically let me know right off the bat that I have to do it his way or else, pretty much. And uh, that's not going to happen. I am not going to surrender all of my contacts like he wants me to, about 25 of them at least, which are pretty much what most people, the average person, amount of local clothes uh, and uh, quite uh, you know intimate contacts around them in the area are. This, is, this number is not just something that came out of the something somebody made up. I'm pretty sure that's something that's been researched and uh, they've come to that conclusion that 25 people, 25 contacts are what the average person has and that's what they ask for. They ask for 25 names, 25 contacts to talk to them, to attempt to recruit them to what I'm not even doing myself just yet. And I let them know. I let I let it be known that I rather it be legitimate to where uh, I get to the point where I'm actually doing the job, selling the product, offering the product, and having some success in it before I even attempt to have uh, to tell someone about what they should be doing with their lives, how successful they can be. I don't even know if I'm going to be successful. Because I haven't even tried the first sale and they're wanting me to bring people in. This is just insanity in the pure definition of a corrupt, corrupting and harmful, detrimental pyramid scheme. All that will do, I thought about it quite a bit last night, all that would will do if I allowed it, which I'm not. That, should, that is just a final decision I've made. I am not going to allow him or anyone to access my inner circles for purposes of selling, uh, excuse me, selling uh, a dream for purposes of making themselves money, making myself money, making myself, promoting myself. I'm not going to let that happen, period, point blank. Um, they're either going to have to deal with me the way I'm planning to or else or just basically put me aside, fire me, whatever you want to call it, you know, just give me my money back, the money that I've already paid into the uh, training and uh, background check and uh, application fees, which is about $125. So. Uh, yeah, they're wanting me to do all that, which I'm not going to do. My plan is to learn and uh, learn about uh, life insurance, which 
Uh, you know, it shouldn't take more than 15, maybe 20 hours. I've already put about two, two and a half into it. And uh, I want to pass the test. I want to uh, become licensed, which is something that they probably are not too interested in me doing. They're more interested in seemingly uh, me providing recruits for them. You know, they say it's for me, but it's, in, you know, in reality for them. The guys wanted me to, you know, bring, uh, introduce uh, him to my wife, family, inner circles. I mean, the guy wants to uh, basically use me as a portal to a whole new batch of people. That's, uh, that's his uh, goal, as, as I see it. He's wanting me to, he's wanting me to basically uh, provide him with a portal to, you know, about 25 or more people. You know, all of which I know, all of which I will be used as a pawn, as a front, as a front, as a point of reference, as a pivot point to pitch and have a very good chance of, you know, scoring with this bogus you know, and often not a very smart and very successful opportunity, supposed opportunity, uh, that only very few that play the game will be good at or have any success at. And again, when I say play the game, I mean really play the game, play the hustle, play the, you know, lie to yourself, be dishonest to others be deceiving if you, uh, there's plenty of people out there willing to do that for money when they see all these uh, you know advertisements and uh, videos and uh, you know depictions and uh, you know speeches and talks about how much money someone made a couple made how much money they've made in the last year, how many thousands, how many hundreds of thousands they made in six months, three months, how many thousands they make in a week. It's all about these people bragging uh, about stuff that probably is not true or at least not entirely true or entirely or at least in part exaggerated. Um, Yes, some of these people have, have made over a hundred thousand. Very few, but uh, the ones that have, you have to ask yourself. Since they're not going to ask themselves that question or this set of questions, what did it take? How many family members are you, you know, basically isolating or? distancing yourself from or having them having them distance themselves from you because they just don't want you to keep uh, trying to recruit them or trying to sell them a product that's not convenient for them or a service that's just gonna cost them too much or that it's not competitive um, this happens all the time and there are plenty of videos and people talking about this it's just not not it's just uh, nothing compared to the barrage of brainwashing garbage you're gonna get from the other side which is going to swear by it is well paid is well organized is uh, consistent is sustained is a sustained campaign to uh, brainwash folks and it's funded well funded people that are telling you the truth telling you how it really is telling you the the details about it are suppressed they are taken off the air they are uh, sued they are uh, you know threatened they are called charged I made a video myself about uh, a company or a pyramid scheme, multi-level marketing scheme called Five Links, and uh, while 
I've been praised for that video. I've been also attacked and called names, called all kinds of, uh, you know, demeaning slurs and all kinds of uh, attacks have come my way via comments and, you know, uh, well, just comments because I don't, I didn't put any other kind of uh, identifying information there, but I mean, even if I did, I'm pretty sure I would get, you know, when I, if I did, I would I would get phone calls, probably emails, uh, and probably knocks at my door if I had my friggin' home address on there. So uh, these people have a interest in perpetuating the lie because they're profiting from it. A lot of them, not nearly the not nearly half or the majority or you know a pretty good percentage of them a tiny minority of them are profiting profiting big time from this uh, multi-level pyramid scheme or scam and uh, you know it's just uh, harming folks um, I am gonna go through with uh, you know just getting my insurance license and I am probably most likely not even going to try too hard to sell because I'm already learning that the product that Primerica sells is not competitive. Uh, at least not the life insurance which is only term with very little um, options. At what I've read so far it's not, not competitive. Very high price that goes up with time so um, I want to see where this goes I'm not going to in any way by any chance and in no way possible I am going to switch careers dump my current career path dump my skills I am going to continue pursuing what I want, which is a career in alternative energies, technologies, high technology, electricity, electronics, and aviation. I will not let go of that for some, um, you know, dream, pipe dream that have gotten who knows how many thousands of people in deep trouble and disappointing situations and regretful situations and uh, most a lot of them perhaps most in very uh, financial dire situations yes a few have made it to the top ranks by deceiving lying by you know selling a dream and and a harmful product but I choose not to do that, knowing full well that yes, there is a possibility that I could do well doing that, but I choose not to. I really don't feel like it's a exciting career path to recruit a bunch of desperate folks that cannot make or would not or will not make a sound good decision about their life. I made the decision as a probe, as a test experiment to go undercover as I mentioned in my earlier videos. I am now undercover. I am now on the inside and uh, I will t attempt to remain on the inside as much as possible to hang in there and um, I know it won't be easy because I'm already under pressure to give up names, to give up contacts, which I will not do. And uh, that may be, who knows, that may be my Achilles heel that uh, basically puts an end to uh, this career. They may just say, no, you're not trainable, you're not, uh, you're deviating, so we're just going to... Uh, pretty much 
you know, oust you or, you know, push you out. Maybe not outright fire me. There is no, you know, not, I mean, there's no job for me to get fired from. I'm just basically applying, but I mean, they could put roadblocks to where they make it uh, pretty, mu pretty much impossible for me to continue to even get tested to get my license or do any kind of uh, work. Uh, I would still, in the in the end, need them, especially the management, to you know approve things, to approve paperwork, to approve sales, to approve this training, that. So if they're not seeing that they uh, you know have someone that that is uh, following what everyone else is following, someone that's you know seriously seriously deviating. They might just say, you know, this guy's just not a good fit, and uh, we're just going to, you know, uh, ax him, you know, sack him, uh, whatever term you want to use. So uh, it may happen. It's a very good chance that that will happen. We'll let you know. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for listening. As soon as I signed up for this Primerica, uh, position, job, me 